Well, that he was all mad and everything because I wouldn't let him give me a prostate exam, you know, and uh, I gotta tell you the truth, I don't even think he was a doctor. Well, in all fairness, you were in the ladies' room. Well, I'd like to go to the ladies' room. It smells good in there. It doesn't smell like a men's room. Men's rooms all smell like pee. Ah, yeah, they smell awful. I fell asleep one night in a urinal in men's room. I believe that was last Tuesday. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I passed out in there for about six hours. Uh, they closed the bar, and then the next morning somebody dug me out. Oh, yeah, I remember that night. That was the night of a thousand showers. Well, at least I got a good night's sleep. Ah, uh, I don't know what to say that. Uh, and I'm your voice, so... Boy, I think that says a little something about you. I'm not a narcissist, Frank. Hello and welcome to Four Speed Diecast, the dumbest damn diecast channel in all of YouTube. We are all accepting and non-denominational here, so no matter if you're a Fordian or a Chevite or a Moparifarian, welcome. I am Max the Finger, and of course, with me, as always, is Mary. Remember, whatever I say, it comes from that fat bastard over there. And Muffy. Oh, you have to excuse her. She didn't get a good night's sleep without a yarn, huh? And of course... Oh, my goodness. Our big friend Frank. Remember to like and subscribe if you like sleeping in urinals. So what are we doing today? We're, we're just kind of going uh, on a Mopar bent, I think. Uh, even though, you know, you have to excuse the Chevys in the background. And we might even have a classic uh, Auburn back there. A cord. What is that? Auburn? Cord? Whatever that is. Uh, I've been kind of... Uh, snubbing the Mopar guys lately. I'm sorry, guys. I had a Ford video and a Chevy video, and I've just been like, screw the Mopar people, but okay. To to make amends, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite little chargers here. The little chargers. Uh, this is an M2. 1966? 66? Are we 66? Yeah, 66 charger. I should have known that 67 had uh, the little bumper guard thingies. You know, you can always tell 66 from 67 unless somebody's taken the bumper guards off. And then they pretty much look identical. Uh, M2, this one is uh, one of their little, I don't know, their non-opener cheapy ones, you know. But uh, M2 did a pretty good job on the charger. And uh, I like it a lot. It's not my favorite charger, but I wouldn't kick it out of my garage for leaking oil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think myself that the only real problem with the M2 casting is right here along the edge of the hood. It just kind of rolls. It rolls over a little too much. A little too much roll on the end of the hood. But what are you going to do? Hang on a bitch. This one, they actually did with the headlights open, you know, because they, uh, they had the full width enclosed headlight grill. And there it is with the headlights open, which looks a little odd the way they've done it, but it's fine. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's take a look at the back. No, oh, it looks like a look at the back. But like, oh man, can't speak right. Uh, I kind of wish they would have put the chrome trim around the tail light. I do like they put the tail light all the way across, which was a thing. This one, not just M2. M2 didn't just put the tail light across for no reason. Is that back window dirty? Is there something on the back window? Oh, there is something. Oh God, let's not show that. Uh, let's let's park this guy over here. Uh, is that bugging me? Is that bugging me? I don't know. Is it? That's not glassy smooth paint, is it? Ah, uh, anyway. So, a 66 Charger, you know, one of my... Is it a four-speed car? Can we see? Can we see down there? Can you guys see in there? Nah, it's probably an automatic. What do we got in here? Is this a Hemi? Are we a Hemi? Come on. Come on, show me. Show me. Show me the Hemi! 
Nah, I think it's a 383. Can we see it? Will we see it? Oh, come on. There we go. Now we can see it, damn it. 383 four barrel. What's on the side of this? Oh, it's just a little bit of something, something. <laughs> it's always great when I pick these cars up and it's like, oh, that's perfectly clean. And then I get it in front of the camera. It's like, oh, oh, there's shit on there. Yeah, 383. So are we a four speed? Let's see. I don't think there's really any shifter in there at all. We're a no speed. Welcome to, <laughs> to no speed diecast. I think I used that joke before. Sorry, I try not to repeat myself. That's not true. I repeat myself all the time. So anyway, I try not to repeat myself. Okay, so uh, let's drive a couple more up here. 68 and 70 chargers. Let's, let's drop the 70 back here for a second and go in order. 68, of course. First year for the Coke bottle styling. They call it Coke bottle because it's like whoop and whoop. You know, like, like a Coke bottle laid on its side. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do we got in this one? What do we got? Let's, let's do this right off the bat so we don't have to mess with that silliness later. We're a Hemi car. Of course we're a Hemi car. Are we a four-speed car? Let's see, if we're a, let's see if we're a four-speed car. Can we see in there? Hell no. This is my channel. You can never see inside the car. Never. Never. Okay. All right, so 68, of course. First year for this body style. 68, 69, 70. Got the little tail lights. I love the little tail lights. I got to tell you, I, I do like, uh, you know, the full width lights like on, on the uh, 66 and 67. But this, this rear end on this body has just always been my very favorite. It's my favorite. And the non-split grill, of course, which was out of focus. It was completely out of focus. It was out of focus. Can we focus? There we go. Uh, not very good for racing, for NASCAR racing. That front end was no bueno. But uh, I still love it. Charger RT there, there in the grill. Uh, let's look under the hood. This is a green light, by the way. Green light 68. We got a Hemi? Is that a Hemi? Let's let's turn it towards... The, <laughs> the light! Go towards the light! Ah, there we are. I don't... That, that doesn't really look like a Hemi, does it? It's not very Hemi-like. I mean... Not even... That's, that's more like a... 383 or 440, that looks like a B-block wedge. It doesn't look like a Hemi. You tell me, Mopar guys, you tell me. All right, well, let's close that one up. Zoom out here, make all those little noises like that. I know everybody loves it when I make those noises. And if you're new here, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. If you're one of the new subscribers, uh, yeah, the old guy can't really speak well. I don't know why you're here, but you're here, so thank you. And here we are with a 70, with a Hemi and the RT badge on the door. Is that a nick down there? Oh, there's a little chip out of the paint right down there. I better not mess with that. Uh, 70, of course. Kind of the wide open grill again. You know, no bar in the middle. A little bit of an update to the taillights here. They didn't really go all the way across. They, uh, this was basically the 69 taillights with a new surround that kind of made them look different, made them look wider. But uh, they don't actually go all the way across. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a great thing to say. I love this one especially because it's bronze with a black vinyl top with a white interior. Is it a four-speed? Let's see. Well, no, because there's a uh, black interior uh, down there, and uh, we can't see a damn thing. So, there you go. Uh, you might notice, and uh, Mopar guys, you might be mad at me. I don't have a 69 here. And uh, I was trying to think if I even had a 69, and I don't think I do. 
I just, uh, and you know, you know the famous 69 Chargers, so, you know, you guys all know the generally, the generally from the Dukes of Haphazard, uh, and I don't know, I kind of got burnt out on the 69 Charger a long time ago, and it's, uh, it just got too popular. Got the rally wheels, do you like the, uh, the way Greenlight does those rally wheels? Man. Little works of art there, aren't they? What do we got on this one? We got the, uh, we got like the Magnum 500s on this one. Which either set of wheels looks great. I mean, look, look. Let's just, let's, let's pull back and look at this. Look, look. It looks great. Either way, it looks great. All right, well, that's enough of that. Okay, so to make the uh, Mopar guys even more mad because they're like, Oh, you don't have a 69 Charger? What's wrong with you? You're not a real Mopar guy. Don't try that no true Scotsman fallacy on me, buddy. Just because I don't have a 69 Charger doesn't mean that I don't love Chargers. I just, I just got tired of it. Well, I got to tell you, kids, uh, here's my secret that's going to make all the Mopar guys mad. The 71 Charger is just my absolute favorite charger of all time. Whether it's a Super B or an RT, doesn't matter. Whether you got the flapper hood or whether you got the, the just standard 383 little beveled hood, whatever you want to call that thing, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You could, you could have the little, the little Vinti hood. You could have the Vinti hood doesn't matter it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter uh, and of course back here is my my favorite of of all my little chargers just because it's so blue and it's got a white interior it just come on come on oh oh uh this is an m2 71 charger rt this is this is the uh whatever you call them, the cheapy, you know, hood doesn't open, doors don't open, that's fine, because a lot of the times when the doors open, you know, you get those big gaps, so it's fine, I would like it if the hood opened, but it does, uh, it's got the big tires, got the big tires in the back, and all that kind of stuff, uh, again, M2 did a really good job on this casting, excellent job, they really caught the RT, or the 71 Charger. I think, you know. That's just me. I could be wrong. All right, what's this guy? I think he's a Hemi as well. Is he a Hemi? I think so. Yeah. Uh, this is another... This is another green light, of course. Uh, let's see if the hood will open on this guy. See, Because we can see his engine. See it in there? You see his little engine in there? That is one thing I really like about the green light uh, cars with the, uh, not the flapper hood, the N96 hood. What is that? Oh, I think the paint's kind of come off of that one. Oh, no. It's patina. Yeah, they actually got a hole in the hood where you can look inside, you know, whereas M2? Nope. Nope. Can't look in there. It's just on the hood. Just a piece of plastic on the hood. Can't look in. Green light? Yeah, you can look in there. Oh, well. Can't get that damn thing open either. I wonder if I... Yeah, maybe if I grab it by the air grabber. Oh, there I finally thought of it. Air grabber. Okay, there we go. And what are we? Are we a Hemi? Are we a Hemi? Let's see. Can't see. Oh, no. We're a 446 barrel on this one. Okay. Uh, 446 peril. Oh, see, that looks about right. You know, well, the black valve cover is really not so much, but uh, the air cleaner. Yeah, six pack air cleaner. You could probably take this apart and really detail that engine. Uh, but it's a green light, of course, you'd have to drill it. Oh, look at the green, uh, the green thingy there. Okay, there we go. Uh, M2, you got a, you got a Hemi here? M2, M2, M2. 
I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are anymore. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got a Hemi. We got a Hemi. At least that one kind of looks right. But, of course, it should have the black valve covers instead of that one over there. Uh, Hemi on the air cleaner. The proper air cleaner. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. I don't know. What's the 383 look like? Let's see what the 383 looks like. Wow, this is exciting. This, oh, that might be the best one yet. There we go. Got the dual snorkel air cleaner. Yeah, okay. Well, and it, it's, I don't know. None of these engines look like real engines. They look like blobs of molded plastic in a relatively ex well not relatively expensive in a relatively uh mid-range model car i never really saw any of these cars when i was a kid uh because 71 i would have been five and this is a 72 i would have been about six so the thing is when you're young you get influenced you know, by the things around you, the things you see, the things you hear, the things you learn. And one of the things I learned when I was a kid was Richard Petty drove a Dodge Charger. Uh, I wasn't old enough for the Superbird era with Richard Petty or in 69 when he actually switched to Ford because Dodge wouldn't let him drive one of the Dodge Charger Daytonas. Did you know that? There's some NASCAR racing history to look up. Richard Petty was pissed in 69 because he had drove Plymouths for years, right? Well, all of a sudden, Dodge comes out with the, with the Daytona with the wing and the nose, and he's like, hey, can I get one of those? And Chrysler's like, no, you're a Plymouth driver. You can't have one of those. And he's like, screw you, I'm going to Ford. So he did. 69, uh, Richard Petty drove a Ford Torino Talladega. So there you go. And then, of course, in, in, in 70, when they brought out the Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird, he went back over to Plymouth because then he was happy. But by the time I really remember this stuff, because, you know, I was born in 66, so I'm, I'm, I'm an antique. Uh, he was driving the, the Chargers. I know, uh, you know, he drove the, uh, uh, the Plymouth Satellites or the Roadrunners uh, in I think 71 to 72, but then in 73 and 4 and 5, this is what he went to. Well, it didn't have bucket seats. But these these are really what I saw when I was a kid. You know, the, the Super Bs and the RTs and the Hemis are all cool. Uh, I got to tell you, when I was a kid, I don't remember seeing more than a handful of, of the RTs and Super Bs. But boys and girls, there is a shitload of regular chargers, I tell you. M2, uh, you know, changed the uh, 71 casting just a bit because 71 and 2 are the same thing. Here, yeah, let's have a look. Let's just have a look at them here. You can see different tail lights. The grill is really the same. Uh, yeah, no real difference there. I do notice I need to fill in the bottom of that one. But anyway. So 72, uh, and 71 as well, in, any of these chargers from 71 to 74 are really just, to me, the, they're what I saw, they're what I rode in, they're, they're what, you know, the people we, we knew drove, but they weren't Hemi cars, they weren't. 446 pack cars they were 318s and by 72 the 383 had become the 400 and you know that's basically what they were 360 maybe i think they had uh, an option for that as well but uh again m2 does a great job on these except for the doors except for those stupid doors with their ridiculous gap issues Yup, I think this one's the better one. It's not as bad. God, M2. Details like no other. Uh, this was out probably 10 years ago or better. And uh, I kept seeing these on this shelf. It's like, 
It's a 72 charger, but it's butternut baby puke yellow. And I kept looking at it, pick them up, you know, it's like, ah, ah, that color. But then my wife one day was out and she just bought this one, just at random. And I got it out of the package and started looking at it. And it's like, yeah, it's yellow. It's got the brown interior. Let's open the door, see if we can see if it's got a shifter in there. We got a shifter? I think we do. I think it's about the same as the other ones. Got the console. Have we got a stick? Do we have a stick in here? Let's open the doors and see if we got a stick. Let's see. Let's see. Can we see? I hope we can see. It looks like a big stick. Might be a big dick. I don't know. Why is it I have to mention male genitalia in all my videos? I just don't know. Well, it's out of focus and we can't see it. We're going to say it's four speed. There you go. There you go, it's four speed. What's it got? Let's see what kind of uh, engine it's got. It won't be a Hemi, but let's see. Let's see, come on, come on, sticky ass shit. Oh, it's got a twin snorkel air cleaner, so you know, it's gotta be a little something something. 72, that could be a uh, 400 or a 440. So uh, there you go. Well, for that matter, it could be a 340. You could still get a 340 in these cars. Let's ramble on some more. Just ramble, old guy. Ramble. Ramble. Okay, that's enough rambling for one day from an old guy. All right, kids. That's it. Uh, you know what to do. If you like it, take your thumb and shove it up a goat's ass. And uh, comment rudely, if you please. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell and all that stuff. And you should subscribe because why would you want to miss something like this? And, of course, if you didn't like it, as always, please feel free to smash this like button. Smash the dislike button. Smash it. Smash it for more. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Bye. It never fails when I try to do these fucking videos. It never fails. Listen, you hear the train? The train in the background? Not blowing his horn right now. But he's a fucking train, no, nonetheless. There you go. That's my neighbor with his train set. Fuck that guy. <laughs>